Hi, Broken WordPress Sites.net. I found this fantastic new free uh, shopping cart plugin for WordPress. It's it's quite a classy little plugin. It's a lot better than uh, a lot of the other free ones available, and it's very very simple as well. It, it's it's really really simple to set up and uh, and configure. I'll just show you how to do it. Go to your WordPress dashboard and just go down to plugins. Uh, click on Add New and you'll come to the plugins page just type in WordPress checkout into the search plugins uh, box click enter and here you'll see it here I've already installed it once you've installed it it'll have its own little area at the very bottom of your WordPress dashboard so you've got an orders page here which is uh, very straightforward and that's all it is, no orders yet, I've only just installed it so I've also got a settings page as well and this is very easy to configure. You have to create a new page, uh, select your currency, templates default, uh, click sandbox until you've tested it and then you can change that back to live. Uh, you have to create a PayPal account and uh, use your PayPal email and then just click on update so it's, it's very very easy. If you don't know how to create a special page, um, for checkout and processing, I'll just show you quickly. Just click on Add New Page. I'll uh, I'll click on Pages because I've already added a new page. So, but you click on Add New Pages, um, and then you'll come to a new page. And I, I basically just put in Checkout and Processing as the title of the page, and uh, and you'll get a. Um, You'll, you'll have to insert a little tag there so you just click on the little icon this is the icon that's created for this plugin once you install it so you click on this and this will open up and then you just uh, make this page my checkout and processing page so you just click on that um, and then I'll insert the tag it's as simple as that I'll just insert it for you and, and that page now becomes your uh, checkout and processing page and then what you want to do is hide it so um, you have to install another plugin to exclude the page and, uh, and you'll uncheck here so that will hide that page from your navigation and here's the other plugin that you'll need to ex install it's called exclude pages so just put that into the search plugins box and it's by Simon Wheatley so you'll need to install that and, uh, and then just check that box, uncheck that box so the uh, the page you've created for the checkout is excluded from the navigation. Now once you've developed your product page or your, or, or your page for, for the different services that you're going to offer, um, you basically just scroll down and where you want to uh, issue the, um, where you want to install the, the, uh, the buy button. So you just place the cursor in the position that you want the buy button installed. Now click on this W again and that will come up and you basically just enter the information in there. It's really simple. Uh, name, you can call it, um, you know, call it whatever you want for this. Is, um, this is just standard pack. Uh, standard pack. Uh, you put in the price, which is really straightforward. You know, it might be a hundred dollars, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, you can put it, put in flat shipping rates, options for different colors, types, and sizes. Uh, there's other product op options as well. The, the buy button text you can have add add to cart or buy now. Um, you can click uh, go directly to the checkout page without using the shopping cart. So this is valid if you're just selling one product, uh, and you can include a quantity field on the page as well. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever you like there. So um, once you click that, you're finished, and you click that, that'll insert the uh, the tag for you, which will turn into the buy button for you. So uh, it's just a matter of going down to each product and. Uh, and clicking on this and just configuring that and putting in your own variation so it's really really easy to set up a lot easier than a lot of the other plugins here's a full uh, full blog post that I've written about this plugin and I've also included the screenshots and the full instructions on how to set it up so so if you need more information wordpress sites.net I'll fold this under wordpress plugin Cheers.